Hello, my name is Brianna and welcome to my channel preview. So for today I'm going to start with Pisces. I am also a Pisces, so this is for us water signs. Okay, so before I got started I actually had some pre-channeled messages. Okay, the first one, love, patience, balance, and abundance. Okay, alright, so to get started, I'm going to use my Earth Magic deck here. I'm going to get four main cards. Okay. This is going to be the beginning of, oh, awesome. Underneath, um, I see release here and love and compassion on the other side. So releasing the negativity of the past and using your strength and love moving forward. Whoops. I shuffle one more time and then I'll get started. Whoops. Whoa. Card or same card. Or at least card just keeps popping out. <laughs> and it's submerged. So yeah, releasing whatever is submerged, past traumas, issues, negativity in general. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, y'all, can you please help me to get four main cards to start this reading for the sign of Pisces? Um, and this is going to be for the career and abundance. Career and abundance reading for the rest of this year, going into next year. Jeez. Okay. First one, love and compassion. Um, right, right away. Um, moving forward, trying to use your love and compassion, finding ways to infuse, um, love and compassion into what you do. Lotus flower and unfoldment. So whatever is submerged. Um, trying to work on that moving forward to start a new cycle. With childhood innocence, maybe something from childhood that you want to embark on, um, like part of this new journey, so like dreams, goals that you had from a childhood, or it's stuff to let go of. And the last card out was the wolf instinct. So using your instincts um, moving forward as well. All right, um, and now I'm going to get some clarification. Awesome. Blossoming abundance and action. So taking some action towards your abundance. What makes you feel fulfilled um, in life in general? Some of you might have some anxiety over it. Um, but you can let that go. That's maybe something that's holding you back from the past that you still need to let go of release moving forward um the thinking man maybe a lot of things have been on your mind maybe you're overthinking at this time i need to tap more into your emotions okay but use your instincts you will know what to do um with that okay so let's see let's get started okay can i have a clarification for this love and compassion well Okay. Card number 23, all tied up. So again, um, hold on. I feel like you might be too busy. It might be a little overwhelming. You might feel tied down to a lot of different, um, obstacles. Hold on. There might be a lot of things that you have to do at this time. Um, but with self-love, you will get through that. Under that, we have deceit. This could be self-deceit or deceit from, deceit from others. Um, but you have the strength to move past that. Woman holding a coin. It seems like your money, um, things like that will get better moving forward. But you have to start with giving yourself some self-love. Also giving yourself time um, to heal. So let's see. 
anything else from Compassion. Awesome. And then the last card to clarify that is the third chakra, Archangel Chamayo. Card number 37. And I'm going to read a little bit on that one. And for the throat chakra, the key issues are self-expression, communication, and will. The inner aspect is expression. The physical action is communication. Mental action is fluent thought. Emotional action is independence. And the spiritual action is security. So with this card coming out, it's like whatever it is that has been submerged, whether it's from childhood or um, this year even, um, what you need to do is try to communicate that with those around you. Maybe with those that you love or um, be more expressive with your emotions and your feelings moving forward is what I'm getting for that. Okay, awesome. All right, now for this unfolding. Let me see. Okay, so what I'm hearing is like unfolding abundance. So a lot of different things are going to be coming in, especially into this new year. That could be love, money, um, hair, fame for some people, or family, family abundance for some. Okay, thank you guys for these messages. Can you please help me to get a clarification for this unfoldment for this Pisces? Well, and again, the happy family right there. That's funny. Okay, so card number 27, walking away. So whatever you're walking away from is actually helping to open up new doors for you. The first chakra, Archangel Michael. Let's see. And that's going to be your crown chakra. Oh, let me read a little bit about that for you. The crown chakra. So the key issues are your inner wisdom and depth of, depth of the body. So with the inner wisdom, that's like your instincts as well. Um... The inner aspect is the release of karma. So maybe you're walking away from karmic situations. The physical action is meditation. And that's funny because, oh my gosh, I should have shown you that. But another card that I just seen was the, um, was like, it was like the rest and rejuvenation one. And that one, a lot of the times, like, you know, touches on meditation. So maybe meditation or even like yoga, different things like that would be helpful at this time for some of you. The mental action is universal consciousness. So opening up your mind um, to a lot of other things. So maybe that could be the unfoldment for some of you. It's like that opening of that first chakra. The emotional action is being this. So just being yourself, being one with self, um, your lower self, and also your higher self. The spiritual action is unity through transcendence. <laughs> Transcendental consciousness. I cannot even say that word. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Um, thank you God for these messages. Is there any other cards to clarify this? Well, okay. Card number 26, hostilities. So maybe you're walking away from like hostile people. I'm gonna put that on any. Maybe you're walking away from some hostile people. Uh, with a fourth chakra here that also touches on love again um because that's your heart chakra so maybe you're using your love and you're moving forward from any hostilities anything of the past that has like held you back in a way um and you're moving towards something that's better fitted for you not only that but you're using your heart and your instincts moving forward that's pretty awesome okay um thank you god for those messages can i please have a clarification for the childhood innocence A journey so again like I was saying earlier maybe there's some dreams or goals from your childhood that you want to embark on maybe that's gonna be part of your journey moving forward um any other clarification for the childhood card again your fourth chakra the heart chakra wow so it's like right now a lot of Pisces um you want to really work on your building up your chakras opening up your chakras your first third and fourth all right, so with this fourth chakra, that is your heart chakra. 
The key issues here are passion, tenderness, inner childhood issues, and rejection. So again, with a childhood, it's inner childhood issues maybe that some of you guys are really working on. The inner aspect is unconditional love and compassion. The physical action is circulation. The mental action is passion. And the spiritual action is devotion. Um, I just heard finding what you're devoted to. So if that's God or even like even some of your dreams um, and goals moving forward, like make sure that you're devoting yourself to yourself, maybe even your self-love at this time and also to like the journey itself. Okay. All right. Thank you God so much for those beautiful messages. Now, for this last card, let's see what clarification I can get for this one. Um, God, can I please have a clarification for this instinct card? For this instinct card for Pisces. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> Underneath it all, the goddess of the moon. Beautiful. I love that card. The first one I flipped over was the caring connections so again going back to that love and compassion maybe building some caring connections in the near future or you're working on connections that you already have and trying to like build those up a little bit stronger and maybe that's something that's unfolding another one that fell out was the yin and yang so finding balance within within yourself and in your relationship under that, that's funny, the rest of rejuvenation, as I was saying earlier, I seen this card, um, this is the card I was talking about, that reminds me of like meditation yoga, because the way this person's sitting, and you see like their crown chakra and everything's like opening up, maybe that's something that's going to be helpful for you to find that balance within yourself and within your relationship. Wow, again, another chakra. <laughs> I'm going to put this one out first. So we have the thinking man. This could be the thinking man or, or the thinking woman, depending on um, your gender. So maybe there's something that you are thinking about and you need to find some more balance on. This could be your relationship. This could be abundance in general. This could be finances. Um, but that will get better, is what I just heard. And the last card out is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Wow. And each clarification, another chakra. It's crazy and this is the seventh one so this is your base chakra now with the base chakra the key issues are sexuality lust and obsession so maybe some of you guys have like I'm hearing unhealthy tendencies maybe that's something that you need to work on let go of or walk away from um, the inner aspect is grounding your spiritual energies so maybe that's why it came like above this rest of rejuvenation, maybe that's going to help you to ground yourself spiritually. Okay, the physical action is sexuality. The mental action is stability. So to find that stability within yourself, you need to rest, rejuvenate, think about some things. Um, also use your compassion moving forward and finding that balance is really going to help you to find that stability within. And that's also going to show on the outside as well. The emotional action is sensuality. The spiritual action is security. So again, that's twice so like that security has popped up. So maybe trying to secure yourself a little bit more um, spiritually as well. Talking to God a little bit more might be helpful for some of you. But use your instincts on that as well moving forward. Awesome. Thank you, God, so much. Whew. This lovely reading. That's fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more cards. Or more than a couple cards um, just to close out this reading with this middle deck here just some beautiful positive messages that come through thank you God again for this beautiful reading for the sign of Pisces can I please have okay sorry I'm gonna do it twice more <laughs> so I heard two more so I'm gonna do it two more times just make it sure shuffle all the way nicely perfect all right, awesome. Thank you, God, for this beautiful message. Can you please help me to get two more cards for the sign of Pisces? Two more cards for the sign of Pisces. Well, okay. Well, there was three, so I'll take all three of them. 
Thank you, guys. So, the first one that popped out. Bam. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Beautiful. So, make sure that, like I was saying earlier with one of these cards, it's like, that inner aspect of yourself can also show on the outside. So again, your happiness could be a direct reflection of your faith that's on the universe. The second card that popped out, I'm unapologetic about what I de desire and trust that I will focus. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I can't read this. Sorry. Again, um, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Beautiful. So whatever it is, like... Um, that you are trying to grow it, it definitely will unfold moving forward. You will have to think about certain things, ground yourself, balance yourself. Um, but you are embarking on a new journey moving forward at this time, especially going into the new year. It's going to be very, very powerful for Pisces. Um, and then the last card out, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Absolutely. When you have fun, the better it is for you moving forward. Um, just re remind yourself not to take things too serious, not to think too much. Also, have fun, you know, have that childhood innocence about yourself with this journey and with your dreams and goals. All right, Pisces, so that was our reading for the rest of this month from going into the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please do check out my other Pisces videos, also the water sign videos that I have, and um, I also have other intuitive messages that aren't for any sign so if it resonates with you that would be awesome for you to check out as well thank you